when I was younger, I had no, <clears throat> no technology with women, and, but I still would try and talk to them here and there, and I would get nervous. I'd get butterflies in my stomach, and I would put myself all out there emotionally, like, here I am, I'm a sweet kid, like, accept me. And you know, a bitchy hot girl would be like, Pff. And, I, and then I would, I would hurt, and I would like withdraw, and clearly that doesn't work. So, because I got hurt feelings and I didn't get results. Like the girls didn't want, it was too much. I was offering too much. Women, offer as little as you can, is the truth. And one way you can do that is, is to be detached. Now, detachment has a lot of means. You can be detached from the outcome of the, of the, of the interaction. What I'm talking about here is when I engage a hot girl and I don't know if she's going to behave herself, I mean, if she can be polite or like a total nightmare, I usually, psychologically, I keep her in the ante room in the front. So she can kick and scream and be rude and impolite and hostile and, and basically indicate like, how dare you talk to me? Do you know who I am? Like just total nose in the air. We've all experienced these women, like serious C-U-N-T's. Part of my language. So, yeah, yeah, they're hot, maybe. So you, you're, so you try and interact with one. You don't let her into the house. Keep her in the ante room, psychological ante room, detached, and play with her there. So if she breaks a few windows and she acts out, she's not hurting you. And that's how I deal with. And how do you do that? Basically, you keep it, and it's it's best shown by example. You keep it playful and combative. And you keep her in check a little bit. And you don't yield. And you don't give her much ground. And you call her out on stuff, too. And you basically you tease her in that, in that ante room there. And if she, if she buys into it, and there's, like with Julia, when she gave me some of that, I said, I, said, I can't remember verbatim, but I, I got to her in front of her with all my stuff. You know, and I made a huge scene. I was like, I had to fight to get in front of you. What do you say? And she didn't say anything. And I was like, so what's your name? And she said, why? I'll bitch you like that. So she's being unmanageable in the ante room. But then I said, I put her in her place a bit. And I said, well, that's what polite people do. We, we say each other's name. I'm Paul. What's her name? And so she felt kind of like an ass, pardon my language. So all of a sudden, she got sweet and softened a bit. Because I didn't, I didn't uh, back down or, or anything. I basically, when she said that, I was like, I came right back at her with something. And... Once she softened up, I let her into the house. I opened up a little bit, and I was more vulnerable. But you don't want to go out there doing battle with hot chicks with your heart on the line, because we're guys, but we're still sensitive and stuff. You do that, and you're going to feel uncomfortable and hurt enough times that you're just going to scrap it all and be like, ah, this whole pickup thing doesn't work because it, I get, it's painful. <clears throat> so, I mean, that's a normal course if you don't know what you're doing, is that it, it becomes uncomfortable and if, a handful of rejections you, you offer too much, and then you get out of the game, and you, do, you pursue women a different way. So, but the effective guys, all of them, including my buddy on the west side who's slept with 270 women, he screws around with the chicks in, 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 in a detachment, keeps them kind of, you know, like a boxer, you hold his forehead, and the little kitty's swinging, so the punches don't hit you, right? That's kind of the attitude you want to have. You want to keep them at arm's length, and they can swing and kick and spit and fight, but it's like, whoa, 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 you tiring out yet? Kind of thing. And once they tire out, then you can bring them close. But that's standard way that unmanageable women behave, I've found.